again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Barnes here, how are you doing? And welcome to video three. Okay, in this video, I just wanna take you on a really quick tour of what's on this page. Um, I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything because we are gonna literally set one up from step, you know, step one, step two, step three in the next few videos. So I just wanna kinda of show you where everything's gonna end up if you like. So okay, what can we see here? Well, we've got our picture, our avatar. I'm gonna take you through how to upload that and the important things of your avatar. OK, and then what you've got here is your wall. This is your wall and this is where you publish everything. This 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 um, sort of uh, status photo link video line here is called your publisher. OK, and this is where you can literally make, write a post. You can just write something or you can add a photo. You can add a link or you can upload a video. OK, and you can add a link here. Um, to a photo or you can upload a photo from here or you can add a link here of a video or you can upload a video from here but anyway we'll go through that okay here's some recently um, uploaded photos so you can really take advantage of this I haven't yet this is all very new um, but uh, we can really take advantage of those and I'll, sh I'll be going through how you do that uh, it's showing who my admins are up here um, this is my insights this is where I would go and have a look at my figures and what's going on on my page okay uh, these are my friends that like the page and these are some pages I like um, and then down here um, on the left hand side this is called the navigation bar so this basically takes you all over your page all right so here I am on the wall um, and the new um, way that, that Facebook does it is you've got a choice of which post you want to show on your wall. You can either show everyone, so everyone who posts on your wall you can have here, or you can just have your own posts, yeah, whatever it is that you have um, put on here. I like to have everyone because I like to see what everybody else is posting on my wall as well. Um, and the way um, Facebook is now doing it is they're doing this sort of randomly. This is not in chronological order. This is now down to the most interesting posts. And I haven't quite figured out the algorithm to which Facebook are suggesting are the most interesting posts yet. But apparently this is done by the most interesting posts. But as an admin, you get the opportunity to click admin view, which basically means that you can now see all the posts in chronological order. OK. Um, then as we go down the nav bar, you can see we've got an info section. So this is all the info that you're going to fill out about yourself. These are pages you like as your page. Remember how I explained to you in video one that you could either be your page or you could be you. These are the, the ones that you like as your page. OK, and I'll go in more, a bit more into that in a bit. Then you can have your either your FBML pages or your iframe pages, and you can have lots of those. Um, so here's um, one of my, that's my welcome page, and then I've got a dollar trial for my product page, yeah? Um, so you can get all that in there. Then I've got some tests here that I did of the iframe structure and how that looks um, and what you can have on your page there. Please don't opt in, I've said there. Um, okay, so you can have things like that. I've got my shop, which I showed you, some testimonials, and then you go through and uh, and you've got, you know, the more you put on here, because your page can be ranked by Google, and I'm going to go into the whole SEO side a bit later in this series, but because your page can be ranked by Google, the more information you've got on here, um, then the better it is for you. Okay, so there's photos, there's discussions. Um, so these are discussions that people have put up. Um, there's notes, which I like to compare to article marketing for Facebook. OK, I think notes are like article marketing for Facebook. Um, I've got my YouTube um, channel linked so people can go and have a look at my YouTube channel on here. Uh, it's loading a little bit slowly today, but there you go. There's the last video I put up and some, you know, videos I did. Um, and then I've also got my video page where I've actually uploaded videos directly to um, my page. OK, and these are videos that other people have loaded. So there's lots and lots on here. That's your count of people who like it. These are featured pages, the so pages that you like. Yeah, you can add yourself as a page owner. OK, um, and uh, and, you know, there's sort of some ads and what have you. So there's all sorts of different things on here. OK. Um, and one of the other big ones that I think is very important as well, and we'll be going into this, is of course edit page. Yeah, this is the big one. This takes you through to the hub of your page and, and everywhere that you can edit. 
all right? So what I want to do, actually, in video four, I'm just going to quickly show you around what this would look like if you were logged in as your page and not logged in as you, yeah, and the difference that that makes. Um, and then we're going to create your very first page. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.